Hey guys, this is Scott with Sumitomo. I'm here with Barney with Sumitomo. And today, I'm going to show you how to disassemble a simple cyclone. Let's go! Always before we get started, we want to make sure that we're working in a safe, safe environment. Make sure that there's no grease on the floor. Make sure you have your proper PPE, which in this case would be safety glasses. We are going to be using some, uh, some lubrication. In this case, it'll be grease. Um, if you're sensitive to grease, you know, you always have some gloves or whatever you think is best for you. So first thing you'll do is you'll loosen up the hardware. And then remove all the bolts. Next, it'll remove the ring gear housing and the high-speed assembly as one piece. Usually a light tap with a good sharp chisel will break the gasket seal free. Sometimes the ring gear assembly will slide right off. Sometimes you have to split a little bit more. I'm going to rock it back and forth. You slide that off. Be careful when you're removing that so your slow speed rollers don't fly out or fall on the floor. Remove the rollers and lay those out. Now using your assembly jig, you just go in reverse order of assembly. A good set of pry bars should be able to remove that top bearing pretty easy. Remove the top disc. Remove the spacer. Remove the top spacer. A good set of pry bars you can usually remove the central with no trouble at all. Remove the bottom disc, should slide straight up. Yeah, you have to, uh, in, in some cases when you have that grease, it'll, it'll act like suction. So you may, have to, <clears throat> you may have to use a tool to help you get it started. Remove the eccentric key. There's the bottom spacer. Now you, can, you'll, you will split the gasket to seal between the high-speed end shield assembly and the ring gear housing assembly. And be careful as, as you can see some the pins will fall out. And that completes the disassembly of the standard 610 cyclone.